Hello everyone, how are you doing? Now today we are looking at a radioactive decay series question. What we have is a portion of a decay series starting from protactinium 234 into bismuth 214. What they want us to find is the number of alpha decay, the number of beta decay, the total number of decay, the type of 4N decay series and to write a complete net equation. Now to find the number of alpha decay, what you need to remember is that the mass number is only affected by the alpha decay. A beta decay does not affect the mass number at all. So therefore, an equation that we can use here is that the number of alpha decay equals the change in mass divided by 4. Therefore, the change in mass is 234 minus 214 divided by 4. Now that equals to 20 divided by 4 equals to 5 alpha decays. All right, let's put that aside. Now to find the number of beta decay. Now remember that the beta only affects the proton. However, alpha particles also affect the proton number as well. So the equation that we can use here to find this is that the number of beta particle is equal to the final proton minus the initial proton minus the total number of protons in the alpha decays. All right, so PF, we're using that for our final proton. And PI is our initial proton number. All right, so therefore, what we have here is that the number of beta is equal to 83, which is our final proton, which is in bismuth, minus our initial proton, which is 91 for protactinium, minus the total proton from our alpha decays. And we have five alpha decays, each alpha has two protons. So therefore, we have five times two here. All right, so therefore, what we have here is 83, which is a final proton, minus the initial, minus that of the alpha. And so therefore, it's going to be 10 minus, um, 91 actually, minus 10. And so therefore, we have 81. And so we have our total there of two beta decays, okay, or two beta particles. Now, the next part of the question here asks us now to find the total number of decay. And of course, this becomes really, really obvious. Because if you have 5 alpha and 2 beta, what you're going to have here is a total of 7 decays. Now, for the next part of the question, which is part D, it said we need to determine the type of 4N decay series. Now, this should be relatively easy based on our previous lesson that we have done. And so, what you're going to do here is to take any of the masses. Now, let's take the 214 divided by 4. What you're going to get here is 53.5. A 0.5 means we have a remainder of 2, so therefore it is a 4n plus 2 series. For the final portion of this question, we want to write the complete net equation. And again, we're starting from protactinium 234 into bismuth 214. We have 5 alpha particles and we have 2 beta particles. Of course, you know how to check the masses. So you can always multiply the 5 by 4, which just give us um, 20. So 20 plus 214 will give us our 234. And to check the proton number, it is 83 plus 5 times 2, which is 10. And then we're going to minus um, 2 because we have 2 multiplied by negative 2. And what we get here is our 91. All right, so we're at the end of it. And I really hope this was helpful for you. And I want to tell you that I appreciate you watching this lesson. And remember this, life is short. So therefore, you should live and cherish your life as best as possible. Enjoy the rest of the day. Talk to you soon.